Greetings adventurers, I'm Lorne Gaming, and I'll be your guild advisor for this video. With the new update, we welcome the advent of Rampage Quest, and with it, the ability to craft equipment. To access Rampage Quest, go to Quest, then to the Rampage Quest tab, where you can select the current Rampage. This one will last until May 9th, and highlights the Knoval Dagger. Upon selecting Rampage, you'll be brought to a brief explanation of how Rampage works, and you can access these files again in the Help section of the game. You will clear through quests one by one while going down the floors of the dungeon. Hard and very hard difficulties are locked until you clear through all the previous one. After clearing through a difficulty, you will be able to manually select any quest in that difficulty. Starting the next difficulty brings you back to floor one, where you will have to work your way down once again. You are able to check what materials drop on certain quests by hitting the swap icon on the top right corner. This also allows you to check on the current health of monsters if you have saved that particular quest encounter. More on that later. When you initially start the Rampage, you will be required to select 12 adventurers and 12 assist characters. Remember when selecting your units, that the adventure and assist combinations you make will be locked, so you won't be able to swap assists normally in your Rampage group. Please don't hit auto formation, because the game will just use your highest level characters, regardless of the rating or status board completion. Manually select all 12 while keeping in mind to bring a diverse lineup featuring magic attackers, physical attackers, balanced characters, healers, defensive characters, debuffers, and buffers, as well as keeping in mind to use useful assist like HP and MP regen characters along with some ailment resistance. After making your Rampage group, you can start the first quest and you can compose the standard party of 6 from your 12 member Rampage group. You can compose a new 6 unit party every time you start a quest. Note that these quests don't cost any stamina, and there are no S-clear conditions, so no worrying about 9 turn clears for extra Eris. You'll strictly get the initial quest clear reward and any crafting materials that drop from monsters. While progressing through the quest, your HP and MP carry over into the next quest. Try to play conservatively, and use standard attacks for the easier quest, and start using skills when needed. This is where it's useful to have HP regen or MP regen assist characters, as they are invaluable during Rampage. Assist characters like Goddess Devotion Hestia, Brains and Beautyana, God Daper Biak, and a new event Naza work particularly well for this purpose. Adventurers like Sparkle Princess Eyes and Elven Awakening Lafia possess passive MP regen as well as both the third skills having the ability to recover MP. You can easily alternate the use of the damaging skills and MP recovery ones to clear through easier enemies faster and recover their MP for tougher encounters. Now, there is a mechanic called the Heal Party that you can use three times a day to completely heal the HP and MP of your Rampage group. Upon using this, you will also be asked if you would like to remake your Rampage group. Remember, you can use this three times a day and you should make use of all those chances. If you happen to die or retreat during a quest, your progress is saved and you can start with the quest for the point you left off at. Same enemy wave and enemy health. You don't lose any materials you may have acquired during this, you just have to go back and complete the quest. A useful tip that abuses this mechanic is to start a quest like a difficult boss quest, get your first few hits in, retreat, then go back to an easier quest and abuse your MP and HP regen skills on the easier content. Now that your party is back to where you want it, resume the quest you initially retreated from. Something that will occasionally happen is you will randomly encounter an irregular enemy like these bunnies for example. These bunnies in particular can drop gold ore, which is a highly sought out material for the higher quality equipment and crafting. Note that irregulars have loot tables not shown on the quest. If you're struggling in a fight like the Goliath one, which uses a lot of AoE, a taunter like Welf or Tione is recommended. If you have the new 4 star Oka to pair up with the taunter, that's even better. You can use your taunter to cause Goliath to only use single target attacks on the taunter. Then, use Oka's fair and square skill so that the more defensive Oka takes all the damage that the taunter would take. What I like to do is use do or die resistance on the turn I have my taunter use to taunt, so Oka takes decreased damage due to endurance gain. Since MP and HP are somewhat limited, remember to use your special arts when available as they don't cost MP. Bringing a healer like Fells can be useful as the special arts skill gives a high level heal to all allies. Remember that clearing through the harder difficulties will usually give you better materials. Use the swap button to keep track of the quests you need to farm, and you can hit the materials button to see your current list of materials gathered. Keep track of what materials drop from where, and utilize your MP and HP regen assist characters and skills. Don't forget, you can completely heal your Rampage group 3 times a day. And now for the reason we even do Rampage. Crafting. 
Note that you won't actually see anything in the crafting menu until you gather materials. You'll be able to see the recipes of equipment as soon as you acquire one of the materials needed to craft them. The way crafting works is very RNG based. For example, on a Knoval Dagger, it has a physical attack range of 190 to 230. When you craft this item, the actual physical attack of the weapon will be a number in that range. So, it is possible to have bad luck and get a Knoval Dagger with 191 attack rather than one with 223 attack. Clicking details will also show you the attributes that can be attached to the equipment upon crafting. The weapon can have up to three of these attributes if you're really lucky. Hats off to you if you can manage it. Do keep in mind that some of these weapons are better for certain characters like Eyes with Desperate and Ryu with Ob's Lumina. When you have the materials you need, go ahead and pay your Valus fee and hope for the best RNG. Remember, Rampage does not cost any stamina and it lasts until May 9th. So, we have some time to grind for multiple tries at good weapon stat distribution. For those that do want to forge Desperate, you can trade the Moondrop Crystals you acquire in Rampage to the Special Exchange Shop. Go to Material Exchange and trade them in for Blade Copper and Blue Blade Copper to gather the materials for Eyes' Sword. That about does it for my starter guide to Rampage and Crafting. Have fun with Rampage and good luck on your crafting RNG. I would again like to thank the Dotmemo community for watching my videos. Before this game launched, I was below 100 subs and now I'm at over 400. That may not seem like much in the grand scheme of things, but it means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your continued viewership and support. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. To stay updated on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter, and you can also join my Discord if you have any questions about the game. Continue enjoying your time in the dungeon and Wario. This is Lauren Gaming, and I'm signing out.